Hey yo, it's Dave from Flash and Dance DJ Service. I am down here in my office uh, working on a few projects before I take off for the day. Um, I have a uh, a Silver City Soiree tonight. Uh, it's DJ production lighting type event. So I'm providing four moving heads. I am supposed to be providing, I'm adding on uh, Chave DJ four plays, which just put out some uh, uh, like this, the pin spot type of effects that put beams out if you uh, use hazer fog, but uh, I figured they'll splash some nice color. There's four on each piece that'll go on a stand. Um, and then up lighting all around the bottom. I'm providing DJ services as well. I'm also providing um, production services, meaning that I'm going to have my mixer there. I'm going to have wireless mics, a uh, microphone on a stand at a podium, possibly do two like I typically do. Um, and then uh, there's going to be a bunch of speeches. And then we have DJing for about two hours or so at the end of the night. So it's going to be it's going to be a fun event. Um it's actually kind of cool venue. It's a brand new place that's opening it up. It's a fundraiser for it. It's the center on Main Street in Taunton, Mass. They uh, have lofts on both the right and left sides of the venue. If you're in the venue, if you're walking in through the main door, there's a loft above you and then there's one straight across from you. It used to be a formal place at one time. And so I um, uh, have a couple of helpers who are going to be showing up uh, to help me get the road cases up the stairs because unfortunately there's no elevator right now to get up to the second floor which it is what it is i mean the road cases are easy to do when they're empty so I'll empty out two of the road cases and then um carry two of them up on one side and uh they have they don't have a lot of power but they have some power so we're going to try and see if i can get all four units working on the power that they have separated um, uh, be kind of nice if I could, because I think it'd be nice to have them just slow panning back and forth on each side. Um, you know, even in, during slow dancing, this isn't the kind of event, like it's being turned into a nightclub per se. It's more about having the ambience of having like a lounge effect. So though, hence the up lighting, they really want me to focus on white up lighting. Cause that's what they're really focusing on, which is kind of cool. So, um, uh, it's going to be a really cool event. Uh, it starts at 7, goes to about 11, I believe. And um, so uh, what I'm going to say at that is I want to send a shout out to Rachel Lynch for pushing me towards doing these blogs. I went to an event back in November, which I was part of the production crew. It's called the Harvest of Sound. And what happens is we have a collective of DJs that come in, about 100, 120 DJs, and they listen to a bunch of speakers that talk about different ideas and different things. Rachel was one of them. It was a first time presenting. It was really, really awesome. I want to say congratulations to you, Rachel, about that. And thank you for pushing me because we had a conversation after her thing. And I have done blogs before here on my YouTube page, as you probably, if you've caught in any of the past ones. But I've decided because I'm a multifaceted single op to showcase what I can do. Another person who inspires me is DJ Wupig, otherwise known as Jonathan Simmons. Thank you so much for everything you do as well for the communities that you work in down south. I um, think it's awesome that you've evolved as well um, into a full production company. Um, I'm getting there myself and I'll have all kinds of other videos upcoming throughout the year. I work with a tribute act called Redneck Castaway Band, which is a tribute to Kenny Chesney. Um, I really didn't grab any video at the last one because I wasn't prepared. Yes, I have my phone and I'm shooting this on my phone, like Rachel said, but, uh, you know, it's just that time I'm going to, you know, when I have events, I'm going to shoot, a, shoot my events. And then, uh, on Sundays, I'm going to work on the videos. So with that being said, when I get to my storage location, I will then shoot a little bit of video there, explain what I'm loading, how I'm loading it into the trailer and we'll go from there. See ya. How's everybody doing out there? Once again, it's Spin coming at you, Dave from Flash and Dance DJ Service. Well, here I am in what is considered to be my storage area. So as you can see, even though it's raining out, trailer is completely packed. 
We got three cases going across the back. We got three cases of moving heads. We got JVL SR uh, 815Ps for tops. QAC KW181s for subs. Primary controller over there in that back corner, which is the MCX 8000. Those wheels that you see sticking up behind the ramp, that is a reel of Cat 6 shielded. Uh, there's two uh, four plays in there. Uh, backup controller behind the ramp on our dolly is my X32 in years wireless mics, uh, utility trunk in front of the uh, domains and then i have as you can see a little case back there four cases of up lights that i'm bringing stands for the main jbls my work gloves and my chair and then as you can see i've got all kinds of stuff inside here so these right here are my original platinum 5rs that i used these are Q washes that I ended up picking up, which are going to be going out this year. I got to find a try and find a road case for them. I have these JBL big boys, as I call them. This is the part of the outdoor system, which there's the subs for them. Um, these are JBL SR uh, 4726As. They are 2000 watt tops, and those are 4000 watt dual 18s. That's the amp rack that runs that. There's my case of front wash up lights. The projector I use for with that right now, I'm planning on trying to go to an LED wall at some point. Uh, my mic stand case, which I grabbed two microphone stands out of. Uh, that's an old rack that I no longer need. Um, toying with throwing in the um, cones as backups just in case. Uh, that has combination. Top one is tarps for outdoor shows. Bottom one is wiring for the big system. There is a drum wedge over there. That's another Cat 6 that I got to go through. I got to peel off because I think the Cat 6 are bad. So I want to pull the electrical off there. My monitor wedges, which is K10s, uh, JBL Eon uh, 12s, and e EV EKX. Pair of ZL ZAX1 subs, which I am toying with getting rid of. A uh, pair of passive community wedges, which I like. There's an amp in here that I can power that, those with, which is kind of nice as a backup. I can use them as fills. Um, I'm planning on getting rid of both those Mackie SRMs and those Altos. I'm planning on giving them to a haunted house. Like I said, that case is going bye-bye. That's going to end up turning into another rack system I think I'm going to end up doing. I think I'm going to par parley do uh dmx uh splits in there that has state regular analog stage tanks and as you can see i got plenty of cabling right here i gotta check and see what this is right here this double tap that's right there i gotta see if i need that this case i need some new wheels for uh as you can see they're all shot but this is going to turn into uh smaller uh, this is going to have probably, I'm going to throw uh, extension cords and stuff like that. That case down below actually has a distro I'm working on right now. That's there. Um, let's see. Anything else I can talk about? I think that's about it. Oh, four bars. I have two four bars right there, which I use for the back of the stage. Oh, totems. I have two smaller totems that i use for like if i'm doing like i have a church event that i have that i do outside that's on a stage i'll take those i'll put um moving heads up on top i'll put two platinum fives up on top and then i'll program those oh another case that i have that i'm working on right now is that one right there that is going to become a lighting console setup uh other than that i think that's everything that's here at my storage location where I keep all my equipment uh, for the time being, um, working on a multitude of stuff. So I'm gonna figure out what those couple of things are underneath that laser and uh, probably load up the cones just as extras. And then uh, I'll try and catch some video at the event tonight at the gala. If I don't, I'll try and t I'll definitely grab some pictures though. And I will then uh, either tomorrow or tonight, wherever it suits, I will shoot a closing for this video. All right, so I'll see you again.
Hey y'all, it's Dave from Flash and Dance DJ Service again, filming a closeout video from yesterday. Well, the event went off without a hitch. It was awesome. Got there a little bit earlier than I wanted. Got there at around, I think, uh, 12.30 or so, because, you know, it was raining and things like that, and, you know, I had nothing better to do. So I got there. Uh, fuck, I didn't have a chance, actually, to do a video part of it, but I did take some pictures and things like that so they'll be interspliced but it was very simple very easy event uh was a lot more working than i really expected it to be but it was pretty cool um going through stuff here i'm gonna shoot a separate video and explain that what i'm doing um i should have earlier shot a little bit of video uh from behind the scenes to kind of show uh some of the stuff that being a multifaceted production person, uh, you go through, uh, whether it be audio, video, lighting, um, you know, so I basically went through some uh, audio stuff, doing some prep for the rest of the season for the uh, Redneck Castaway Band, which is a Kenny Chesney tribute band that I work with, and I've been asked to do six dates or so uh, of not just audio, video, or, or sound. Uh, they actually asked me to add sound on for those events. They're smaller uh, type events, uh, meaning that like it's not a nightclub type event or anything like that. It's more of uh, more like there's one that's a block party. Uh, and basically what will happen at that event is I will provide audio and lighting. No video on that because it's outdoors during the day. Um, they'll start playing at like six o'clock and it doesn't get dark till almost nine. By the time they don't, they're set. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna end this one and I'm gonna shoot another video and talk about the maintenance that I'm doing that I do after events.